In this video, I'll be going over a 5 year ownership cost between a gas powered and a plug in hybrid vehicle to see what really makes the most financial sense if you're looking at buying one of these. Before I get into the video, just know that if you want to see any of the sources where I gathered the information from, all the links are in the description and I'll be walking you through the calculations throughout the video. I'll be comparing a 2021 Toyota RAV4 XLE Premium for the gasoline vehicle and the 2021 Toyota RAV4 Prime XSE for the plug-in hybrid vehicle. I chose these because I wanted to compare similarly equipped models for both cars. The other thing is that I'll be using gas and incentive prices from California since that's the only area where you can buy the RAV4 Prime at the moment. I'm also not going to be including any taxes on the vehicles since it'll vary depending on wherever you buy the car from in California. We'll start off the comparison with the initial cost. The gas powered RAV4 costs $30,050 to purchase and the RAV4 Prime costs $41,425. The reason why we see the big price gap is because the RAV4 Prime packs an extra 18.1 kilowatt hour battery and a 134 kilowatt electric motor. These end up adding thousands of dollars to the overall cost of the vehicle, making it more expensive at the beginning of ownership. However, a perk of owning a plug-in hybrid vehicle in California is that you might qualify for federal and state incentives that can bring down the price significantly. In this case, the RAV4 Prime qualifies for a $1,000 Clean Vehicle Rebate Project Incentive in California, a $1,500 California Clean Fuel Rebate, and a $7,500 Federal Tax Credit. This totals up to $10,000 off the initial price of the vehicle, bringing it down to $31,425. On average in California, people drive 14,435 miles per year, and this is what we'll be using to calculate the price of gasoline and or electricity for the vehicles. Starting off with the gas-powered RAV4, it gets 28 miles per gallon city and 35 miles per gallon highway, leaving us with a combined rating of 31.5 miles per gallon. Dividing the number of miles driven per year by the miles per gallon combined rating gives us 458.28 gallons needed for one year of driving. Multiplying the gallons needed by the average gas price in California at $3.18, gives us a total of $1,457.33 per year. Now we'll take that amount and multiply it by 5 years, giving us a total of $7,286.65 for all 5 years of gasoline. Now I'll move on to the RAV4 Prime's gas and electricity cost. People in the US tend to commute 32 miles to work and back every day. This falls into the all-electric driving range that you have on the Toyota RAV4 Prime at 42 miles. This will be estimated that 80% of driving will be done within that 42 mile range and 20% of driving will require the vehicle to run in a mild hybrid mode. I'm going to use the same process I did for the gas only RAV4 and instead only count for 20% of the mileage as gas. When calculated, I got a price of $248.61 for gas. But that's not all. We still have to figure out the electricity cost when using an all electric mode for the other 80% of driving needs. The first thing I did was divide the range of the battery by the size of the battery in kilowatt hours to get roughly 2.32 miles per kilowatt hour. Next, I divided the number of miles in EV mode by the number of miles per kilowatt hour to get 4,977.5 kilowatt hours needed in total. California's average electricity price is roughly 17 cents, and when multiplying that by the kilowatt hours needed, we get the yearly electricity cost to run the car. Multiply that number by 5 for 5 years of driving, and we get a total of $4,230.88. This will be added to the total cost at the end of the video. The next area of vehicle ownership would be the cost of maintenance. Instead of going through all the parts individually, I'll just put up on screen the items and their cost for both models. The information gathered about required maintenance was gathered through official Toyota manuals and the cost information is from yourmechanic.com and repairpal.com. To sum of what's on screen, the gas powered RAV4's maintenance has the exact same maintenance procedure and cost as the RAV4 Hybrid. The only difference is that the RAV4 Hybrid doesn't have to replace the transfer case oil, which saves $251.46. At the end of the video, the total cost of maintenance will be added onto the ownership cost. The final category of ownership is insurance. Insurance varies by location and the driver, so don't take these numbers as an accurate representation for everyone. 
$1,324 per year was the cost for insurance on the gas RAV4, and over 5 years, it comes out to $6,620. On hybrids, insurance costs an average of 7% more than gas cars because they're more expensive to fix if something happens to it. The RAV4 Prime's insurance price comes out to $7,083.40 after the 7% inflation. Now that we're all through the numbers, I'll go through the final cost and summarize what this all means. Adding up the initial cost, any incentives, gas and electricity prices, maintenance costs, and insurance, we get a final price of $46,880.24 for the gas RAV4 and $46,654.46 for the hybrid. This shows that even though there's a large price gap between the two vehicles, the incentives are able to bring down a price significantly, making it less expensive to get a plug-in hybrid. However, this also shows that if you aren't able to receive enough incentives on this vehicle in particular, then it won't pay itself off in gas and maintenance savings alone. The results will be different for every vehicle, so I suggest going through this process for whatever plug-in hybrid or gas vehicle that you're looking at and seeing if it makes sense financially. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way, please give it a like and consider subscribing to more tech content every week. If you enjoyed this cost analysis or have any other questions about it, please leave a comment letting me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Tech Device News.